the reverb wasn't that good. The lighting wasn't that good. Probably my flow of conversation wasn't that good in the past two videos. But that is why I did it. That way I can get better. Because the only way you're going to get better at something is to do it. But none of us do anything anymore because we're always spending hours of our week looking at our phones. Even if you're working hard, you know, paying rent, working 50, 60 hours a week, there's especially young men, there's going to be, let's say on average, 20 hours a week where you're not really doing anything. And that's already accounting for exercise, leisure activities, time spent with family. You still have time for yourself. And in this time for yourself, what are you doing? Are you sitting there scrolling through social media, absorbing content that other people left there for you? Or are you going to face that discomfort and make something out of your mind? Because that's the only thing that imagination is going to come from. Not from sitting there and absorbing other people's shit. That's the thing about social media. It's a curse. It's a mirror reflecting back at ourselves. Every social media app, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, which I'm on right now, but I just upload and go. I'm not sitting here for hours watching YouTube videos. I mean, I'll watch the people I like for a little bit. For example, Wes Watson. <laughs> You're going to prove to be a huge influence to me on my life and my personality. So big shout out to Wes Watson. If you know, you know. Uh, he preaches, fuck social media, fuck this mirror that presents itself, yourself, back to you, and becomes your best friend. As a result, you don't even want to go outside. Now we live in an alienated world where we're more connected than we've ever been in ways that you couldn't even imagine, but we're so disassociated that in order to have a conversation with people, I have to put my thoughts on YouTube because no one wants to just have a conversation anymore. It's ridiculous. That's why I call this Nobody Asked For This. Nobody asked for this world that we're living in and people's ignorance is the reason why the world's not gonna change. It's the whole reason why I do this, to spark the conversation and hopefully make someone at least a little bit less ignorant. It's ridiculous. <sighs> we look at our phones. It's fine. However many hours of a week. If that's how you want to spend all of your personal time, it's fine. But don't complain. Don't complain about how nothing's changing for you, about how you don't have time to do anything. You have time to sit there and look at your phone. You have time to sit there and absorb other people's content. What else do you not? What else do you have time for? You're sitting there all day looking at that, jerking off, looking at, you know, you, you like something on social media, you like a picture of some girl's ass, and then you're, it's going to start pushing that sexual content back at you. And you're all of a sudden releasing all of this pleasure, all of this, all of this human life force energy that you could be retaining and making into content and love and other forms of energy. Energy is never destroyed. It's released and it's absorbed. Released and absorbed. <sighs> We've all become robots. And I can sit in this room with all the stuff around me and pretend I'm not a robot, but whenever I'm sitting there looking at my phone and then I don't know what to do and I'm just laying there depressed, sad that I don't have anyone to hug, it's my fault. It's my fault that I've let myself turn into a robot. Now I must protect other people from becoming a shell of themselves, or at least in the best way that I can, and that's just in talking. I'm still a young man. I don't know 100% what I'm going to do with my life. But I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing in my presence. I'm working out, I'm reading, I'm educating myself, I'm creating stuff. 
that I'm going to look back on in 50 years and be all like, I made that. But unfortunately, a lot of people will rather sit there and complain. <sighs> social media. That's why I deleted social media for a while. It's draining. It takes so much of your time. It takes... It's a trigger for a lot of things from drinking, smoking, masturbation, nothing wrong with any of these things, but there is an extent. And right now, especially in this capitalistic society that we find ourselves in, we know not how to restrain ourselves. We know not how to experience discomfort. We only know comfort. And in these little moments of comfort, from one moment of comfort into the next, from one fix, from one bag of weed to the next bag of weed, you're experiencing displeasure and you don't know what to do. You begin having mental breakdowns and then you begin to inflict these upon other people. That's the worst thing you can do, man. That's going to lead you down a dark road. I'm not saying we should all quit social media. I think we should all use it to benefit ourselves in business and life and love. I'm not saying we should extinguish memes or extinguish sexual content. I think we should extinguish porn that women do not there so when you look into the porn industry you realize how many of these women are drugged how many of them are they don't want to be there they're just there to make a couple bucks but they are not going to look back in 50 years and be all like i made this this is good no it's evil corporate garbage that you know i have a lot of friends who say yeah, I, I hate these evil corporations and stuff like that, but they'll still click on porn. They'll still click on, like they'll still use Instagram, which is owned by one of the biggest companies that has ever existed. And they'll not even realize what they're doing. And as young men in a society that's about to slope down into a recession, into this and that, you know, we all just need to be aware. We need to be aware of what our time's going into. We need to be aware of what our mental and physical energy are going into. Because you don't know what's going to happen in a year from now. A year ago, my hair was shorter. I was, I just started making YouTube videos. You know, there's a pandemic going on. Uh, we we're still all wearing masks everywhere. Now we're not wearing masks. Uh... So that way we can feel connected again. But I'm not going to get into the whole mask thing right now. It's just things change and you have to be ready for those changes. And if you're not ready for those changes and you don't know how to handle it, that's on you. Especially as a man, men today are the least masculine thing, the least masculine generation that has ever existed. Because of these instant gratifications, because of social media not allowing us to be the true men of the society that we need. And then the ones who are not affected by this, they're the ones that are high up. These are the ones who are in charge of everything. These men. They're trying to take from us. And we can't let them. We have to be informed for ourselves, for our children, for our wives. Nobody asked for it, but it's what we have to do. As men, we have to be strong. We cannot keep 
bringing other people down because you haven't had a drink today. You weren't able to find a plug for your weed. What else are you going to do? There's got to be other things you can do. There's got to be different things all of us could do than just sit there, get fucked up, and instantly pleasure yourself. Right now, do you think that this is pleasuring me? Trying to think of things to say in front of a camera? In front of, for now, probably a handful of people, but who knows how many people will see this in a long time. Do you think I'm getting instant pleasure from this? Fuck no. But I do it anyway. Because... Well, I gave you my reasons. And I'm going to continue to give you them. I'm going to be making videos a lot more often. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling powerful. And I hope to spread this. <sighs> 11 minutes. I think I'm going to cut it off here, guys. Remember, ain't nobody asked for this shit.